I don't know any of these. I Do I read? Am I a reader? Do I even read books? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry if the lighting is not the greatest. I just have one ring light and I have my vanity on. I don't know how to do lighting, so I'm just sort of winging it. But I'm doing a new booktube type challenge today. I have seen people do this before, usually as like sort of a pair challenge or a group challenge, but I'm doing it by myself today. What I did is I had my sister go through some of the books on my shelf and pick out first sentences from a variety of books. I told her to try and pick ones that I knew and she wrote them down on like Quizlet cards online and I am going to be reading the first sentence of a book and trying to guess what it is. I want to say I'm confident in guessing but in all reality I, I don't know how well I will do. So she picked out 22 books and I'm going to go ahead and try and guess all of those. So I have it on my phone here so let's just go ahead and get started. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. The first sentence is, I was on stage at the Latino Club in South Shields when I realized I couldn't take it anymore. Who? What? <laughs> well, I'm guessing this is a contemporary. I was on the stage at the Latino Club in South Shields when I realized I couldn't take it anymore. It's something contemporary and Latino Club. I can't think of a single book, a single book, where they go to something called the Latino Club. The only club I can think of is Pandemonium in City of Bones, but that this is not this is not the same at South in South Shields. I'm gonna guess the Hate You Give, even though I'm pretty sure that's not how that book starts. But like I cannot think of anything else. I will say there might be books mixed in here that I haven't read. I told her to try and pick books that she knows I've read, but I don't think she knows what I read, so. Oh, it's me by Elton John. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Okay, that makes sense. On stage. Okay. I wouldn't have guessed that. I wasn't thinking about memoirs. There's that book. Okay, not starting off great. We're still at a 0 out of 22. It's a weirdly subtle conversation. I almost don't notice I'm being blackmailed. Um, I am almost completely positive this is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I was right. Okay. It is Simon um, by Becky Abertali. That one I was able to get pretty easy just because the blackmail. That is a big part of that book. This is, a, this is a long quote. Okay. Late in the winter of my 17th year, my mother decided I was depressed, presumably because I rarely left the house, spent quite a lot of time in bed, read the same book over and over, ate infrequently, and devoted quite a bit of my abundant free time to thinking about death. That sounds like a sarcastic narrator. I think it's a girl. Just sounds like a girl. That could just be me thinking that. It's not Twilight. I feel like this describes Twilight, like describes Bella, but it's not. I know this is not one of the sentences that starts with starts one of the Twilight books. Who would who would speak like that? Like that's a weird way to phrase that sentence. I'm trying to like look at my shells like the answer might miraculously come to me. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm trying really hard to think of something but I'm calling it quits. I'm only I have one out of 22 and I don't think this is gonna be my second point. Okay it was The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I would not I would not have guessed that. Hazel would say something like that late in the winter of my 17th year. She did spend a lot of time thinking about death because she was dying, so. I have not read The Fault in Our Stars in, god, like seven years, so I can't be blamed that I don't remember that. But that's a good one. That was a good one. Sorry if the camera has moved at all. I had to plug in my camera for a couple minutes and hopefully it'll make it through the whole video. We'll see. <laughs> So number four for the next little first line is first the colors, then the humans. That's usually how I see things. I know right off the bat this is the book Thief by Marcus Zusak that is the first thing that death says in the book. I was right. So I think I have gotten two out of 22 so far. 
The next one, number five, is I'd had more than my fair share of near-death experiences. It wasn't something you ever really get used to. Hmm. I don't know. I want to say, like, something like Percy Jackson, but I know it's not the lightning thief because that starts with a different line. I feel like it's got to be some like YA fantasy type series because you're not going to have a lot of near-death experiences in a contemporary. I don't think it's Harry Potter, I don't think it's Percy Jackson. It's probably not Mortal Instruments. I think maybe like Vampire Academy. <laughs> I only have two points, I wish I could guess better. <laughs> I thought maybe I could be good at this, but obviously not. Ugh, I give up. Who is it? That was Breaking Dawn. What do you mean? Breaking Dawn starts with that sentence? Man, I would have never guessed that. Because, like, all the other Twilight books start with, like, a very, like, flowy sort of fancy sentence like just the way Stephanie Meyer writes she writes very poetically at least the first chapters always have that like the maybe is, I wonder if this is from chapter one or from the preface because I think all of the Twilight books have like a preface that's a hint to later in the book I don't know I would have never guessed that damn <laughs> still going strong at two points out of 22. Number six. I like to say things. Not important things like whales or people or the environment. Silly things. I don't know. It sounds like a contemporary. I feel like she probably picked a lot of contemporaries just because that's what she reads compared to my fantasies. I like to save things. Who likes to save things? See, that's the thing with contemporaries is that, like, fantasies I have an easier time remembering because I can be like, oh, it was this magic system or it took place in this world. But with contemporaries, they all just mesh together in my brain and, like, give it a ye give it six months and I, I couldn't tell you what the book was about unless it's, like, one of my favorites. So I can't think of a single character who collects items. I'm giving up. Okay. I don't know. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. That's the first sentence of that book? I guessed right that it's a contemporary and she does like to collect things. I don't remember her collecting anything other than the letters though. I also, it's been a couple years since I've read these so. Still going strong at 2 out of 22. It was nearing midnight and the Prime Minister I think that's and the Prime Minister was sitting alone in his office reading a long memo that was slipping through his brain without leaving the slightest choice of meaning behind. I'm fairly sure that is Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. It's Half-Blood Prince! Damn it! I got that it was a Harry Potter book! I remember because the the beginning it's like a whole chapter about the Prime Minister and I'm pretty sure it's the Muggle Prime Minister and I'm like I literally don't care and Fudge comes to talk to him he's like yeah so something big's going on it would make sense then that that's Half-Blood Prince because Fudge didn't believe Voldemort was back in Order of the Phoenix damn it in Order of the Phoenix starts with the Dementor maybe just because in Order of the Phoenix is what I'm reading next I was close can I give myself a half point no but I was close, let it be known. <laughs> the first time I met her was at the tail end of one of those endless week weekday nights that you could only have at a school like blank, which she blocked out so you don't, so it's not like a dead giveaway. She, why did she choose all contemporaries? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm guessing this is a contemporary. Not a lot of fantasies have a school except for like Vampire Academy, but this is not Vampire Academy, so... The first time I met her was at the tail end of one of those endless weekday nights you could only have at a school like blank. A school- study in Charlotte has a school and he did meet her at school, but I don't know if my sister would have picked that one up because I don't know if she even knows I read that book where someone meets her and there is a school. The thing is I couldn't even tell you what the name of the school is. A study in Charlotte. This is harder than I thought. 
This isn't as exciting of a video as I thought it was going to be because I thought I'd be better at this game, but I should have known better. I don't know, I give up. It was a study in Charlotte. Okay, so I'm giving myself that point because I did, I guessed that. Uh, if Even if she had not blanked out the school name, though, I would have not... I don't remember what school they go to, but it was a study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero. Okay, I'm giving myself that point. I'm at 3 out of 22. For being one of my favorite book series, I really should have been able to get that a little faster, but it's fine. Number 9. Oh. <laughs> it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. That is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. That is a, that's a first sentence that I could recite without looking at the book, without, like, anything. Pride and Prejudice, Jane Austen. So now, I am at, what did I say? I just got to three, so I'm at four. I'll have a little, like, point ticket thing on the screen if I'm counting wrong while I'm doing this. The next one, number ten. When he emerges from the bathroom, she is awake, propped up against the pillows, and flicking through the travel brochures that were beside his bed. This is a first sentence of a book. What book starts with them already together? Or at least together enough that she's in his bed flicking through travel brochures. What book has travel brochures? Probably contemporary again. I don't know, does it- I, do I look- do I look like I read that many contemporaries? I read a lot of romance contemporaries actually, but I was. I got two right in a row. I'm breaking my streak. I feel like maybe this could be a bit more obvious than I'm thinking. Is this, I don't know, part of me is like maybe it's one of the other Study in Charlotte books, but she, my sister probably wouldn't have chosen two from the same series. And what book starts with two people already together in the same room? I feel like maybe, it could maybe actually be one of the Mortal Instruments books, because if this was Clary and Jace, I could see Clary having travel brochures, I guess. This sounds like it would be in Jace's room, and Jace has nothing in his room. And I don't think any of the books start with Simon and Izzy. I don't want to give up so easily, but I really, like, I, I don't know. I am just going to look, because I, I don't know. It is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I would not have guessed that. I don't remember. I read that book four years ago. I guess maybe that's Lou and her first boyfriend in that scene, but I don't, I don't remember that book very well. So, oops. Okay, number 11. When I wake up, the other side of the bed is cold. That's the first sentence? I don't know what to think of that, that being the first sentence in the book. I... I don't know! Why don't I know any of these? This could be a Mortal Instruments book. Maybe later in the series. It could be a Twilight book, maybe? But it's not Breaking Dawn, it's not New Moon. And I'm pretty sure it's not Eclipse, because Eclipse starts off talking about the fire and ice stuff, doesn't it? Again, I can't think of a book that starts where the two characters are already together. Um, it's going to be an older book, I would say. I can't, I don't know if it's contemporary or fantasy. I really thought I was going to be better at this. I have 4 out of 22 so far, and I'm on number 11. So I'm, I'm sitting at a nice, like, F minus. <laughs> I give up. What is it? Hunger Games? Oh, I was thinking of this all wrong. <laughs> it's The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. But that must be, so in the first one, Prim, I think, switched beds and went and uh, was laying with her mom instead. Is that really the first sentence of The Hunger Games? Interesting. Yeah, well, okay. I wouldn't like never ever would have guessed that though. Look, I didn't want to be a blank. I am pretty sure this is the lightning thing. It's and it's look, I didn't want to be a demigod. I was right. The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. <laughs> there are some first lines that are so iconic that you just have to get. That is one of them. So I think that puts me at five points out of 22, which is not great, but it is what it is. Blank Blank was a highly unusual boy in many ways. I wonder if those are purposely four asterisks and then five asterisks? Or if they're just asterisks. Okay, to blank out the name. 
I'm trying to think of a of a book that has a boy main character. I think of Percy, but I just did The Lightning Thief. Harry Potter, but I don't think that, I don't think this is a sentence from Harry Potter. I keep trying to like look at my bookshelf and see if something will be sparked in my head, but I got nothing. Is this video even exciting? Watching me <laughs> fail at everything? Oh my god. Maybe if I drink some of my coffee, um, my brain will work. I really have no idea. I hate keep. I don't want to keep giving up on the questions, but a highly unusual boy. Maybe wonder, but I don't think that is the case because I don't think that book is on my shelf. But I also know she did look at some other books in the house, so I don't know. I'm gonna guess wonder. I don't think that's right, but no, it was Harry Potter. Damn it. Can I get myself a point for that? <laughs> Can I get myself a half point? Because I said Harry Potter because he's highly unusual. It's Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So the asterisk didn't mean anything. Can I get myself a half point? Can I have five and a half points? I'm going to do that. Even though I went on to say it's definitely not Harry Potter. Okay, number 14. Oh, I know what this is. Christmas won't be Christmas without any presents, grumbled blank lying on the rug. I'm pretty sure that's Amy saying that because this is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. So now I have six points, six and a half, if I'm being generous to myself. Number 15. This book is largely concerned with blank and from its pages a reader may discover much of their character and little of their history. What book is so blatantly like addressing the reader like this? I want to say something Percy Jackson. Is that A Little Prince or The Little Prince, whatever that book is called? I know that's my sister's favorite book, so I feel like she might pull that for a sentence. It's Lord of the Rings. I haven't read that, so I can't be blamed. So it's probably this book is largely concerned with hobbits, maybe, and from its page a reader may, from its pages a reader may discover much of their character and a little of their history. I haven't read The Fellowship of the Ring, I've only read The Hobbit, and I've been literally like thinking I, I want to start Fellowship of the Ring like pretty soon, like it's on my TBR for this month. I just haven't been able to find an audiobook of it. Yeah, I did not, I did not guess, guess that correctly. I don't think, I could have sit, sat here forever and never guessed it because I have never even opened it to the first page. And I don't think they say that line in the movie. Number 16. It surrounded him in blank, twisting and turning itself into his bones until he and the darkness became one. Jesus Christ, what is that? What book starts with something that dark? I'm gonna guess this is a fantasy. It could be a Mortal Instruments book, but... I also feel like maybe it could be like this savage song or something. I don't think it's a Percy Jackson book. The main character is a he, or at least the character in this first scene is a he. I want to say, I don't know, I want to say a Mortal Instruments book because like demons. I don't know, this shouldn't be so hard. <laughs> I'm not, not gonna get a good grade on this little game for myself. I'm just gonna give up. I'm gonna click on it. Oh, it's Zenith by Sasha Ellsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Yeah, I've read that. All the main characters are girls. I wonder if that's the scene from the prison. I don't remember that being the first scene, but I guess it was. Once there were four children whose names were blank, 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 and blank. What The only book I can think of that is Four children is Narnia, but I don't have physical copies. Oh, I do have a physical copy, so I'm gonna go with that. I think it's Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Also, straight up didn't know I owned that. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, Narnia, Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. So I think that means I've got seven points now. Not great considering there's 22 questions, but we're getting there. Carl Sagan said that if you want to make an apple pie from scratch, you must first invent the universe. I think the only book that would mention that is the Bill Nye book. I want to say it's Bill Nye's Everything at Once. It is not. It is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I just thought Bill Nye talks about him a lot in his memoir, so I thought it would be that. 
I guess the sun is also a star. I guess she is into science and she talks a bit about something. I don't remember that book. I read it when it came out. Was that last year or the year before? But I read it in like a day, so I don't remember. I was so confident too. Oh well. Number 19. I know I'm not an ordinary blank year old kid. A kid who's not normal. Well, that's a long list in the YA world, so. The fact that they say kid makes me think that they're younger. Maybe this is Kingdom Keepers? Maybe Aragon? Why am I so bad at this though? Wonder. I wouldn't have guessed that. And I also, I don't have that on my shelf anymore, I don't think. I don't know where that book went. I, I guessed Wonder earlier in a different one, but didn't think of it for this one. Number 20. Once when I was six years old, I saw a beautiful picture in a book about the primeval forest called True Stories. I feel like she might have typoed a word there. Miss Peregrine's maybe? That That's the only one I can think of with pictures. I feel like this, this video is mostly just me sitting here and staring and thinking and realizing I don't know any of my books. I have no idea. I'm gonna flip it. The Little Prince. See, I guessed The Little Prince earlier on a different one. I would not have guessed it for this. I, I read The Little Prince once, two years ago, in one sitting, so I don't remember. I couldn't, I could not tell you the plot of that book. I couldn't tell you what it was about. I, I don't know. Number 21, I shouldn't have come to this party. This is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I know that. Yes, I was right, haha. -ha. Eight out of 22. We are on the last one. XTC, which I feel like, is that what she meant to write? Um, was no good for drowning out the morons at the back of the bus. What the hell is XTC? I'm gonna guess Perks of Being a Wallflower, but there's no way that's what that starts up well with. The fact that they're on a bus makes me think it's another contemporary, but I don't, I don't know, I give up. It was Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Row. I read that one five years ago, so I don't know, four years ago maybe. What is XTC? What does that mean? I want to go look at that book and like, is like, what is, what is that? What is XTC? Like just the letters. Is it, was it music? If so, what is that a band? Just three letters? I don't, I don't know. So I believe if I've been keeping track right, my final count for one's right is 7 out of 22. If you were playing along, uh, let me know how many you got. Probably more than me. Those were some hard ones. I think my sister chose a lot more contemporaries than I would have chosen, but obviously I couldn't choose them myself or I would know what they were. These were a lot of books that I don't really think about on a normal I'm really mad I didn't get the Harry Potter ones, uh, which is just stupid. I got the really famous ones like Pride and Prejudice and Little Women and a couple others. Either way, it was a lot of fun. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made you laugh a little bit, um, laughing at the fact that I don't know anything about my books, but that's okay. I am really, really trying to be more active on this channel and make more content. I love making the reading vlogs and they're probably my favorite thing to do, but I also want to do more videos that are like sit down videos or like challenges and stuff from the booktube community. I think it is just a lot of fun that I would like to integrate into this channel more. I don't know exactly, I don't have plans necessarily. This is something I just came up with a couple days ago, but I'm having a lot of fun and I would really like to grow my little booktube channel. Just be able to connect with some more people. I love bookstagram and I even am starting to love book talk which is like the bookish community on tiktok which is a lot of fun. Other than that I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff and I will see you next time. Bye!